Hey, what's good everyone? Local last man here. As the title suggests, this video is going to be about the tire wash system here. It is an add accessory through Zamboni, and the reason why you got it here is because we have to dump our snow outside. We get all these pine needles and stuff and, and grit from the outside on the machine. Now, if you're an indoor rink, if you have to travel pretty far over concrete and stuff, and you may pick stuff up as you go, I can see it, the tire wash system being an advantage in an indoor rink if you have to move your machine pretty far but if you're just bringing your machine off the ice going into a snow pit and stuff I don't know kind of up to you on that one but since we have to dump our snow outside as you can see there I kind of washed off the pad here a little bit I gotta get the leaf blower out it's just a little bit easier to blow everything off it's just get a lot of stuff from the trees and stuff having to dump snow outside and especially when it gets really bad and gets cold we're gonna have to drive around the corner and down a bit to dump snow and stuff and really spray it out so the tire wash system definitely comes in handy for us. Prevent stuff to get on the ice, all these little pine needles and stuff. I kind of run it as I'm driving out and as I'm driving back in. So basically, I mean, again, it came installed in the machine, so I didn't install it. There is a pump right here, as well as a, a switch and four nozzles. And one reason why I'm doing this video, too, because I had problems with it. It was running kind of intermittently, and I get here in a minute what was going on here. I can highly redo this video, too. Because I, I did the video and did the repair and it didn't really go as expected, the repair and stuff. Got everything working, that was great, but it was kind of kind of difficult. So I was going to go over first how the system works, then I kind of go over the repair and, and things like that. Then we'll kind of wrap it up there at the end, put a nice little bow on top. But over here in the controls right here, when you have your machine on and you flip this switch right here, you show right there, the tire wash. You got this pump that turns on. And you got four jets that are pointed at the tires. You got one right there, you got one right there, and basically the same on the other side. So as you're backing the machine up, it's just washing the tire off. And that kind of like turned the tire to the left to the right just a little bit. We used to wash the tires off, that's kind of pain in the butt. Turn this thing off right here. So the tire wash system itself, it's not bad to have, especially if you have to go outside. It's a pretty cool thing to have to be able to wash the tires off, not have to bring the hose out and all four tires and rinse it off. So basically what's going on here, and what I'm gonna do here, I guess, cause I already did it, like I said, a video of me kind of pulling it off and how to take it off. So I'm just gonna cut to that for better, for worse than what it is. Basically what happened is, let's get a view right now, is right up here, the, the, the pump for the wash water, you can see right here, those wires coming out of the pump were kind of pinched up against this frame right there. So I kind of thought, because basically when I kind of jiggled the wire, the pump would go back on. So for a while, I just couldn't really figure out why it was turning off and on. But essentially, I just went in there and jiggled the wires one day. And I guess maybe I bumped the wires. Because I did a continuity test. Well, not so much a continuity test, but a voltage test. I was always getting voltage to the, to the pump, you know, when I switched the switch on. So... When I connected, and not always, I guess, when I hooked it to the pump, it, it didn't work. So I think by jiggling the wire, it would always work, but it didn't always work. So then eventually you figured out it was the wire right here. You could see the wiring harness. And jiggled it, and it turned on. It, it worked for a while, and it stopped. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. So I eventually just said it's time to take this thing off, take a look at it. Maybe there's a pinched and fray wire, but there's a little more to it. I didn't really find the pinch away, pinched or fray wire. When I put it back together, maybe I, the wire that was inside the jacket, maybe it was, maybe something internally was pinched or something, and it by, by putting it back together, it, it solved it somehow. But when I took off the back plate of that motor there to try to trace down what was going on inside, you know, the connection between the wiring harness to the motor, uh, I ended up getting, you know, it was kind of opening the can of worms, you know, like the plate off and all of a sudden I had brushes and springs everywhere and I had to kind of put that back together so the rest of this video is going to be me explaining basically how to take this pump off and when you take the back plate off how to get it back together I didn't really deal with the front part I got some pictures that I got through Zamboni about the, the impeller side of it this video is going to be more about behind the side with the, the brushes and the springs and how to get that all back together because it kind of had a hard time getting it back on the back of the plate, at least the brushes around the stator. I had it around the bearings, it was really good, but I had to get them around the stator before I closed the back of the plate up, slapped everything back together. Luckily, it's working, it's been working. It's been like a month or so since I did that, so 
everything's working so I'm happy about that so what we'll do is again we'll cut to me taking the pump off doing repair then we'll come back here and wrap it all up let's see if it'll turn on because it turns on intermittently and it see you can see right now it's not churning on I, I flipped the switch on right there and it's not churning on so so what's going on here is that It'll go on and off, on and off, let me locate it right there. It'll go on and off, on and off, like sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. I thought the pump was going out, but I finally figured it out, I don't know why I didn't figure it out sooner, is that this wire right here, let me see if I can get the camera in here. You can see that this wire is being pinched against the frame right here, and if I jiggle that wire, it turns on, and there's your tire wash system right there. Sorry, I try to get a good angle for you. But anyway, it looks like the back of this motor has a plate, and I did jab a piece of wood in here, and I didn't like to do that, but I did wedge a piece of wood in there to try to get this out a little bit, and it stayed in there, but it didn't really solve the problem. What I'm gonna do, it looks like there's a, a screw there. I think that back plate I could take off. I'm gonna figure out how to get that wire in there without having it pinched up against that plate right there. So, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm assuming it's not really short now. This, one of the wires must be kind of kinked in there or something so the goal is, is to take this thing off try to figure out what's wrong and put it back in and what you're looking at right here i did kind of nose around this with it last week to try to see the best way to approach this and these bolts right there you see right there those ones are not gonna those are ones you're not gonna remove to try to get this thing off because i tried to turn that thing and all it did is spin so the bolts that we need to take off all right, so the bolts you're looking to take off is this one right here. There's another one located kind of just right here. It almost seems like it's the same one that holds the door on. No, actually, it's right. It's this one right here. Okay. Let's go ahead and just start pulling one off. Kind of figuring this out as we go here. Two washers, a nut, and a bolt. I feel like the other one's going to be located. This one right here is what I'm looking at. I'm hoping this is the bolt. If not, I'm gonna be putting it back on here. Right, so see it's loose right there. I think that's loose enough for me to get here. I don't wanna yank the whole thing out. It definitely gives me a, a good view of what I need. So I'm not sure what's going on in here, but something's causing it. You saw when I jiggled it. It went on and off, so I'm gonna take these two screws off right there. Hope I'm not asking for trouble doing this. Uh, this is not good right here. <laughs> oh my god, this is a little bit more, a little more than I thought was gonna be here. I got. All right. Let's get it all back together here. Get these in here, then. Gasket's gotta go there. So you get it, I can get it, these little brushes around. They're bearing easily, but I gotta get it around this little you know, stator. So I get it there just a, a little bit. And I use this little probe thing to push the springs back. Get one side in. Get it? Alright. So I got it on, but now I can't get these bolts to line up. Well, I get the line up, but I can't get them to thread. Come on. It's like right there. Is that it?
Must be on something if it's pushing it. Right. I feel it. Get it? Did I get it? Got it. All right, so let me, I'm just gonna try to hook this thing up so I can fire it up, see if it runs. Let me get this back on right here. Come on. Let's actually do this first. All right, in all my haste, I realized I didn't really show you guys how I got the pump off and really put it back on. Things weren't really going well at the time and wasn't really about recording things. I just want to get everything slapped back together. But essentially, there's two bolts like I alluded to earlier. There's a half inch bolt right here, finger right there. That's a, it's actually a bolt coming through and a half inch nut. So that bolt is actually threaded in through the frame. So you're not gonna get the bolt out. You're just gonna take the nut off half inch nut right there as well as a three quarter inch nut on the other side I'll just throw a picture here and you can use a 19 millimeter or three quarter inch I think 19 was a little more snugger but three quarter inch definitely will work as well as the two hoses I took off on this side over here you can see that there's a little coupling slide over here a little better you can see that there's a little coupling right there you just unscrew that thing will come off and the hose will come off the side here I kept, I kept this thing off there's this little little tab right here I suppose you could push in and pull everything off oh I don't know if I can get my finger in there there you go get that thing back out and this side right here you can see right there there's a little tab get this hose out of the way you just push this tab in it slides in and you can pull the hose out and you can take the pump off that way as well as you just connect the hose excuse me disconnect the wire right there two little wire connections that's about it but that's essentially it that's your tire wash system works totally well with us definitely like it i think it's a must have let me get this light off right here for rinks that i dumped their snow outside i gotta drive any significant distance to dump your snow suppose indoors you gotta drive your machine around indoors to the other side of the building perhaps it'll come in handy because you're gonna pick up some dirt and grime and stuff along the way Go ahead and comment below if you guys have tire wash system. If you like it, don't like it, anything in between, smash that like button, smash the subscribe button. That's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. As always, hope you learned something. And like the local ice man says, stay cool.